Okay, more Project Zomboid. And, um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was in... I was scouting up north, and I got into this house. Went to sleep. Now, it looks like I just found a better bag. So we're gonna... Oh no, we, we gotta... We gotta... Meh. We gotta unequip this one so that we can equip the other one. On my back. And then we gotta equip that one so that we can switch everything out. Get rid of these. Oh, I didn't have that much crap in there. Good. And then switch. Oh, well, yeah, and the shotgun takes forever because it's a big weapon. And it's a big thing, anyways. All things that are big take a while to transfer. Okay. Check the shelf, gotta make sure to loot everything. Master Carpentry, I already got one of those. Oh wait, I gotta, I gotta... There. There we go. Because I don't really need that extra bag. I mean, it, w it would give me more carrying capacity, but it would not... It, it probably wouldn't be a good idea because I would, uh... I would, I, I don't have that much strength. I mean, I do have extra strength, I think. Let me look real quick and see... Yeah, I got I got strong, so I'm as strong as I can be. But I think, you know... I think I could easily max that out. And get over-encumbered. Look at this zombie. Oh, wait, I gotta... Get my baseball bat back out. I put that away when I was doing my bags. What's in here? What is this crap? Oh, it's like, uh... Um, not coat hangers, that's the word I'm thinking of, but it's, you know, you hang clothes on it. Some kind of clothing rack. Uh, I like to loot everything. Advanced cooking. See, the cooking isn't, isn't the type of skill that I feel like I need to get up as high as possible, as fast as possible. You know, it's like, well, if I can't cook the greatest food, oh well. You know, I can still fill myself up, but being able to build a, a well, you know, a good sturdy wall to hold back the zombies, that seems a little more important. You know. Well, there's another big hiking bag. This is the, the house of bags. Crazy. Oh, okay. Uh, there is a zombie. Whoa, there's one. Stay dead. There it is. Wah. Come on now, I know you're tired. Let's put the finishing touches on that zombie. A wallet. Too bad there's absolutely nothing to do with that. I think I even looked on the wiki and there was a there was a place where uh like there's miscellaneous items or something like that. Something something that indicated they were basically useless items that were only in the game for kind of a you know a placeholder type of item and the wallet was on there nothing in the crate crates are usually good for building supplies and stuff so I don't like it when they're empty uh, so lighter I remember having two lighters at one point geez all the lighters alright fine I'll take another lighter now I got three in my pack probably have several at home Huh. This is like a one of them open concept thingies. Look at that. Interesting. Let's see here. Garbage. Well I I I mean I need those to make a rain barrel, but I've already got a couple. Well meh, grab it. Coffee and tuna. Just the kind of combination I'm looking for in the morning. Yeah. Some seeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Seeds are, are actually pretty important because even though I've never gotten there, if I do get that far, I'm going to want to be able to grow stuff. Wait, did I get everything there? Yeah, okay. Yeah, more pepper. Alright, well, I'll take more pepper. Can of dog food? I mean, ah. Uh, 
Uh, right, all right, all right. It's it it gives you unhappiness and stuff, so it's not the best kind of thing to be drinking. Eating. I was thinking drink here because I was doing this. I'm gonna have to eat some food here pretty quick. How about that bag of chips? Let's just eat that for a quick food thing. Filled me up a little. More pepper, Jesus. I'm gonna be sneezing for weeks. Did I have a frying pan? I think so, because I made I made that stir fry that was all salmon, but I wanna take another one. Just because it whoa, because I can't remember. Can't be sure. Get dead. There we go. Another bag. Look at that. Jeez. So many bags. Too bad I can't use them all for something, you know. Just as soon as you as soon as you get the best one, it's like that's it. Open door. Open. Why? Why you no open? There we go. Oh, it's just the toilet. That's interesting. Huh. So you go in here, it's the laundry room. And then you go in there and there's just one little toilet. No shower, no sink, no nothing. Huh. Can't say I've ever really seen a bathroom like that. In real life, anyway. You know, go through the laundry room to get to a little bitty, teeny tiny bathroom. I mean, I've seen teeny tiny bathrooms with nothing in it, but... Not through a laundry room. Not anything through a laundry room. Have I been in that room? Meh. How do I... Oh, is that an, is that an outside garage thing? Here, hold on. I'm done in here anyway. Let's go. Oh, whoa. Holy crap. Oh, whoa. Get out of here. Okay. All right, then. All right, then. All right, then. My welcome has been worn, and I'm gone. I don't know what that is. It's a little garagey thing. Actually, I, uh, I really do want in there, because that's what I want. That's what I want, is building stuff. Stuff you can get out of a garage. Nails, planks, maybe an extra hammer, because I was stupid enough to leave that other one behind. I mean, you never know when you're going to need an extra of stuff. Should have took... Be that. Right. Rolling pin. Don't need. Oh Jesus! Come on, I'm tired here, zombie. Now I heard a zombie break a window, so all the nearby zombies are gonna be running. Or not? God dang it! Yeah, see, there's a garage. Ah, oh, crap! I busted it. Let me in there. Anything good? Nothing there. Duct tape. That's awesome. Bunch of nails. Good stuff. Ha! I'm out of here. Whew. Okay. Could have been a little bit more loot. But, uh, it was something. Seeing as I didn't die or take any kind of major damage, it was worth it. Not sure if I just took that. I think I just took that damage. Probably. Okay. Yeah, we'll work our way back towards base. Oh no. I just now I got now I got slight pain. Like, I don't I don't know if that means I'm a zombie, <laughs> because because usually if you get hit and you don't have any pain and then pain comes later, that as far as I've been able to tell, that usually means you're going to be a zombie later. Um, so yeah, and see the damage is ever so slight, so I'll just have to see. get in here and eat some food. Hopefully there's a refrigerator. Here we go. I don't think there was one in the last house. An apple. Eat that. Now we're at Peckish, which doesn't have any, you know, negative side effects. 
that that it says anyway. It doesn't say it does, but uh, but it's not giving me a healing bonus either. So let me see here. What do we got? Should I just? Yeah, I should whip out. Okay, hold on. I should whip out the frying pan. Yeah, I see that zombie banging at the door or the window. He's not gonna. Well, she not. Well, they might get in. I'm not worried about it. I got a baseball bat. Where's the sink? I'm I'm thirsty here. Is there something through here? What's this door? Laundry room. Hmm. No sink though. I need water. Here we go. Hey, you want to hear a slightly racist joke? What was Bruce Lee's favorite beverage? Water. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly racist and mostly corny, but you know, <laughs> what kind of jokes aren't corny? I mean, there's non-racist jokes. Anyways, racist jokes are fine, it's just as long as you're not like, haha, stupid Japanese people, or, or whatever, you know, it's like, haha, you're not like laughing at them, you're laughing with them, right? Sure, that justifies it. Give me that wire, I'm not sure what I can do with wire at this point. I should look on the wiki here after I get done. Make sure. Yeah. Cause there might not be anything really good to do with it yet, but there might be. There might be something really good. Like really good. Where is oh yeah, yeah. I already got the frying pan out. Okay. So this is what I was doing. I was going to Well first we'll take everything. Frying pan. Create stir fry egg and peas. Eggs, peas. And there we go. A very strange mixture, if I ever, you know, had anything to say about that, because cause I don't really eat peas as it is. Oh god, that zombie finally got in, huh? There you go. There you go. Take it to the face. Oh, I was about to say, why does that zombie have books and no clothes? It's because I was accessing the shelf. Alright, it's cooking up. Do a real quick uh, look around this house. Yeah, I'll go upstairs real quick. And make sure to run here because... Oh, why can't I see? Oh, there we go. Because I don't have a lot of time on that uh, cooking stuff. Ooh, a baseball bat and a pistol. Awesome. Anything else? Carpentry for inter intermediates. I already got one of those, I think. I'm gonna go check on my food. Hey, get back. Nope, still cooking. Stay down. Come on, there we go. Nothing. Alright, let's see here. Let's wait for this to get done. It's almost done. I don't want it to burn. I've never actually burnt anything. Not that I can remember. But, uh, if you do burn it, I, d I think that it makes it so that, uh, it gives you far less hunger reduction. And then, like, it, it gives you unhappiness and, and boredom and stuff. You know, so obviously don't burn your food. Just like real life, you don't want to be eating burnt food. It might even make you sick. But, uh... That, that might be a different game, too. I've played a few survival games, so I, you know, I get confused. There was one... If you guys are into survival games, there was one called Unreal World. And no, it doesn't have anything to do with the game Unreal, that first-person shooter that, you know, it's crazy, action-packed, you know, nothing to do with that. It's, uh, it's, it's basically, like, takes place way back in, in, um, I don't want to say medieval times, but, like, like, even before that, I'm going to put this stuff back in the fridge, because I'm going to sleep here in this, in this building. But, yeah, uh, back before medieval times, even, but in, and some, in some island in the north, north of Europe, 
Got nothing there. Okay. And it's 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 pretty cool. There's it's really not graphically intensive. It's uh like no animations whatsoever. But it's not text based, so it's you know it's a step above that basically. Uh, it 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 really has a retro feel to it, kind of. Because there's like I said, not a whole lot of animations, not a whole lot of graphical interface stuff going on, but it's, it's really cool. You can set up all kinds of traps in the woods. There's, like, you can set up a trap fence, which is, is something I'd never heard of in any other game. And, yeah, I know, I'm talking about a game that's not this game. I got something to talk about while I'm sleeping, right? But anyway, trap fence, you, it's like a normal fence, except for every once in a while there's a gap. And everywhere there's a gap in the fence, you put a pit, like a big old hole in the ground. So that, you know, the animals will be walking along, do do do, and they'll come along your trap fence. Oh, there's this fence I can't get over. Well, let's just walk along it until I find a way through. Oh, here's a gap. Bwe Splat. You know. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. But you can also fall in your own trap. And if you've put spikes at the bottom of your spike pit, <laughs> then it's gonna suck. And it's one of those permadeath games. You know, once you die, you're dead. Is he in the closet? He's in that little closet or something. So yeah, if you missed what I said, I said that was Unreal World. Check that out. I, you know, it's not on Steam. I'm not really sure how you'd find it other than just going to Google and typing it in. You guys can do that much. But yeah, good stuff. Check it out. I think it was three $3 for a temporary copy I don't know it was, it was it was kind of a weird system there was like three dollars for for the at the time it was three dollars for the version that it was currently at but like you could have paid like nine dollars for an all-time license or something I don't know it's weird it's not that much anyways less than ten dollars for a full version so get out there and play that unreal world freaking awesome and like I said it has nothing to do with the first person twitch shooter Unreal, Unreal Tournament, Unreal Championship, Unreal... everything. So anyway, back to this. Um, I've got quite a bit of stuff. Don't really think I need to loot another house. I need to, I need to get back home. That's what I need to do. Man, these streets get over here and just jump this fence. There we go, yeah. And then... More zombies in this field? Jeez, where am I? I know if I keep going that way, I should come across the lake. Let me weave my way. Ah, uh, that one saw me. And that one. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, what is this building? Wow, that's a big one. I'm gonna have to remember that. Running time! Running time! Time for running! Holy jeebus! Jeez, oh, they're still coming after me. Man, that's is that, is that like a police office or police station, whatever they call it? <laughs> whatever they call it. Jesus Christ! Good God, the zombies! And this game really has some good, tense music, you know. It's like, oh, there's zombies after me, you know. Good stuff. As I've said before, and I'll always say it, is is, you know, really good games are almost always accompanied by really good music. Wait, is that my house? That's my house up there. I knew I, re I recognized the neighborhood. I almost went past it. I, I, it was a good idea for me to just go straight like this way until I got to, to the lake. I didn't even get that far. Lined up with my house already. Oh, look at that. I'm back home. Let's quick put everything refrigerated away that needs to be. Start at the top. Do 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 do. There's nothing in here. Ah oh, balls! I forgot to pick up the stuff out of that refrigerator. Because I put it down before I went to sleep, and then I was distracted talking about an unreal world. 
Oh well, you know, it was worth it to inform you guys about an in it, 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 insanely awesome game, I guess. I started saying an I word and I was like, hmm, what applies? Well, yeah. It's freaking awesome. Check it out. Um, what, what am I, what am I putting in here? Why do I want to do that? I think, I think I want all my seeds out, out in the, uh, on the shed, right, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just distracting myself. Here we go. Oh, there's my tools. Kitchen tools. Frank pan, here we go. Uh, is that it? So, pin, pin, hey. Uh, where's the food one? Here we go. Chips, coffee, ramen noodles. Um, some pepper. I thought I had three of those. Oh well, two is enough. TV dinner, tuna. Whiskey? Well, the TV dinner I like to put in the fridge, even though I don't think you need to refrigerate it. I always do. Because, you know, the, I mean, in real life, you keep them in the fridge. TV dinners are frozen until microwaved and eaten. So, I like to do that. Although some people also like to keep their, like, peanut butter in the fridge and their bread in the fridge. Which, peanut butter, you don't, I don't think you need to keep peanut butter in the fridge. I've never kept peanut butter in the fridge. I've I've had jars of peanut butter sitting around for absolutely forever, opened, unsealed and opened and stuff, sitting around forever. Not with the cap off, but with that freshness seal off, you know what I mean? And it never goes bad. But bread, I think, I think you put that in the fridge because it'll keep it fresher a little bit longer. Not that I never really need to worry about that. I usually eat my bread pretty quick. Once again, talking about stuff that's just not this game, you know? Ah... Uh, Oh yeah, the whiskey I was gonna put in the fridge, of course, of course, of course. As well as the water bottle put in there. Okay, most of this stuff is either going like medicine upstairs, literature and the thing, or most of it's going out in the shed. Yeah, yeah, I know it's kind of hard to see when I've got my windows up, but I'm only going right here, and then I'm gonna need my windows again. So shut up. All right, so here's all of my stuff. Some duct tape, some of this, some of that. Uh, nails, rope, wire, and wood glue. Yeah. And then we also have some weapons for the weapon cabinet. The shotgun, the pistol, and a baseball bat. Yeah. See, I was originally thinking I, I might want to move at some point. And I still might want to move at some point. But I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be kind of hard to move. You know, the more stuff you accumulate, the harder it is to move. Just like real life. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't have to move a couch up three flights of stairs. You know. So I've done that. I don't... Oh, well. Probably a couch. There was a bunch of furniture. I remember helping somebody move into an upstairs apartment. I was like, man. Sucks. Okay, I was going to put those seeds out there. Yeah, I know, it's just, it's just absolutely amazing watching me sort my inventory, isn't it? It's just, it's just intense. Didn't I put my seeds out here somewhere? I guess I haven't started putting them out here. Uh, shelf or cabinet? I'll put it... Yeah, on the shelf. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these. Put them in my tool cupboard. And the shelf will be for, uh, all these. The seeds. Because if you start organizing things immediately, then you don't have to spend a week doing it later. You know, if you designate a, a, a container, okay, this is seeds, and then you only put seeds in there, then you don't have to go sorting it later. Lessons that I learned from Minecraft. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, you should have seen the disorganization in that game. Whether you like the game or not, we can still talk about disorganization. And it was pretty severe when I was playing that. Pretty crazy. Although there's probably a good chance that there's nobody watching that dislikes Minecraft. I mean, there's a lot of people that like it. A lot of people that don't, actually. So now that I think about it, don't, uh, yeah. 
I wouldn't be surprised if there's somebody that doesn't like it, now that I think about it. Because it goes both ways. You know, it's one of those things. But before I start rambling off on another game that is not Project Zomboid, um, I'm going to, well, let's, let's go down and eat some food real quick. I'm going to eat one more meal, and then I'll go to sleep. I'm going to close this up. Yeah, some of you might be wondering how I'm running around with these windows open right in my face, and it doesn't bother me. Well, let me tell you, back in the day when I played Diablo 2, you know how the map, you could open it up and it would take up the entire screen, and you could, like, just see through it as, like, a transparent map covering the entire screen? Yeah, I ran around with that on all the time, 100%, from the beginning of the game to the end of the game, all the time, whether I was in town, out in the woods fighting, picking my nose, whatever I was doing, the map was up. So that's that's where that is, and, and and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing here. I need to eat food. I need to eat refrigerated goods first because that's important. Got some bacon. It's bacon. Um, where's my frying pan? Wait, hold on. Let me grab the, the ingredients I want. I want some bacon. Ooh, I want I want a bell pepper. Yeah, that sounds tasty. Give me a little carrot. Um. We have a lot of leak. Let's put some of that in there. And... Eh, that's probably good. That's probably good. That's fine. That's fine. Man, I'm going to eat like a freaking king here for, for days. I've got three frying pans. Okay, note to self. Do not grab any frying pans. When I'm looting. Because I have enough. Create stir fry. fry. First, bacon. Wait, wait. I, wait, do I have a do I have a knife? Because I can take I can take a kitchen knife and I can chop up the bacon. Yeah, there we go. I can chop up the bacon into little bacony bits. Get bacon rashers. See, I never heard of a bacon rasher, but apparently if you if you uh if you take bacon and cut it lengthwise, you get bacon rashers. I don't know, whatever. And then you can cut them into bacon bits. That's obviously something I've heard of. So let's get some bacon bits. Let's get a whole ton of bacon bits. Just make it all into bacon bits. There we go. <laughs> oh man, I'm getting hungry just doing this. Watch. Let's, okay, wait. Can I not make a stir fry out of bacon bits now? Are you pooping on me? What? Well, that uh, that's a ripoff. That's a complete ripoff. Cause come on now, a stir fry with little pieces of bacon makes a lot more sense than a stir fry with like two big strips. I mean, jeez, it's probably just because it's early access and it's you know whatever. Like I said, I don't know if it's alpha or not because it's been sitting on my Desura list for so long. I just don't know. God dang it! Now I don't. Err, my bacon bits. My bacon's. That's unfortunate. Where, where's my where are my tools here? Well, boss. All right, I guess I gotta put my bacon bits back. Boop, 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 boop. Dang it! Well, I guess I guess I I guess I'm just gonna have to cook those and eat them as they are. Or I'll look on. I'll look, I, that's what I'll do. I'll look on the wiki, see if there's any specific uh, things to do with that. But for now, we'll just eat vegetables stir-fry. Not exactly something I'd be going for in real life. I'm not a vegetarian. I could actually easily be a carnivore. Just somebody who eats nothing but meat all the time. But, you know. But in the apocalypse, I could be... I could... I'll eat anything. I mean, Jesus. When the choices are death or fresh vegetables... <laughs> yeah. Pretty easy choice, I would say. A leek, like I said, it probably tastes like onions, kind of, because it looks like it's of the onion variety. And then you got bell peppers and carrots, both of which are pretty obvious. And I like I like bell peppers, you know, in uh, like a chili or something like that. So I could get used to it. What was the other? Oh yeah, carrots. Car the carrots are probably the only one in there that I would actually have a bit of a problem with. I'm not a big carrot fan. Um, half, because it is a big meal, 153, so I mean half is just going to 
Oh, yeah, half put me up to very well fed. So, yeah. See, do I need to refrigerate this? Let's test it. Let's find out. The stove is not on, so I'll just leave the pan on the stove, like, like somebody might do in real life. And we'll leave it there overnight, and we'll go to sleep. I'm going to drink some water, and then we're going to go to sleep. Alright, it looks like we're getting a pretty nice and even 15 minutes per day in this game. That's, that's pretty neat. I was wondering how the episodes would end up going in this. So yeah, there we go. Nice and clean cut, boom, two days, half an hour. Good stuff. Yeah, I, oh, more gunshots in the night while I'm sleeping. But yeah, I always I always want to make the episodes between 20 and 30 minutes. You know, I like to make them a little longer than normal YouTubers episodes because I feel like people want to see more. But I also don't want to make it too long because I feel like some people get a little bit overwhelmed when they're like, oh man, two hour video. Even though you can pause it and come back and all that type of thing. Um, anyway. I do believe that's everything that we have to accomplish in this video. I said some stuff, I did some stuff, I killed some stuff, and I ate some stuff. So now I will see you guys next time.